Elon Musk's SpaceX is soaring to new heights with its groundbreaking Falcon and Starship projects. But its ambitions don't stop there. In a move that has sent shockwaves through the space industry, Musk unveiled plans for SpaceX to establish its own lunar base. This bold announcement has caught the attention of not only NASA, but also rival space agencies like Russia and China, singling SpaceX's relentless pursuit of space exploration milestones that were once unimaginable. But what's the roadmap for SpaceX's lunar ambitions, and what obstacles must they overcome to turn this dream into reality? Let's dive into this and more in today's episode of SpaceX Flight. The Starship launch cadence is picking up speed, with each mission showcasing greater advancements. Take the recent milestone of Starship's third test flight just last month, pushing the boundaries like never before. Despite the mission's setback with both vehicles lost, SpaceX's engineering team capitalized on the experience, gathering invaluable data to enhance future flights. Elon Musk himself offered intriguing glimpses into the multifaceted applications of Starship and the intriguing prospects of a SpaceX lunar outpost during a recent company presentation, where he said this. Ultimately, I think we, we want to build a moon base alpha and have a permanently occupied base on the moon. He also mentioned how a Starship adapted for lunar missions will look like. Well, it's going to be a specialized ship for the moon, like this. <laughs> so the moon, obviously, there's no mechazola, so we need landing legs. And you don't need a heat shield, and you don't need flaps, because there's no atmosphere. Absolutely. The Starship HLS stands as a dedicated vehicle tailored for lunar endeavors. However, Elon Musk hinted at a broader vision during the same presentation, outlining plans for a bigger and better iteration of the Starship spacecraft. Envision enhancements from upsized dimensions and expanded fuel capacity to heighten payload capabilities, and an array of design tweaks. For a deep dive into these upgrades, check out our dedicated video where we explain these in far more detail. So, if you are interested, click the card in the top right-hand corner. Imagine a Starship HLS mirroring the grandeur of V3, boasting a payload capacity that's twice as mighty, clocking in at a whopping 200 tons. This monumental upgrade fast-tracks lunar colonization, empowering the seamless transfer of heavy-duty equipment. What's more, the HLS variant sidesteps Earth's atmosphere entirely, shedding weight without the need for a heat shield and flaps. Delving deeper, a slew of design modifications, including a sophisticated system of reaction control thrusters nestled in the ship's midsection. These thrusters kick into action during the final descent, slowing the vehicle as it nears the lunar surface preventing the kickup of lunar regolith. Power is supplied using the large solar panels mounted on the ship's side, and the ship has to be equipped with landing legs, as no launch tower is present to catch the ship as mentioned earlier by Elon Musk. The lunar southern pole emerges as the starting point for initial missions, offering a temperate climate conducive to accommodating abundant volatiles. Enter an intriguing concept. Repurposing a Starship cargo variant into innovative habitats. Stripping away its rocket components like engines and thrusters, this reimagined spacecraft utilizes its former payload compartment and fuel tanks as expansive living quarters for astronauts. Encased in lunar regolith, these habitats provide crucial protection against radiation and micrometeoroid impacts. But the innovation doesn't stop there. Every component, not essential to the mission journey back to Earth for reuse, fostering sustainability in space exploration. These modular systems boast versatility, easily transforming into facilities for farming, storage, industrial activities, and beyond. As I have mentioned, the Moon's South Pole lies a treasure trove of volatile resources crucial for sustaining human life. Hydrogen and oxygen extracted from these resources serve multifaceted roles, from rocket fuel to drinking water. Nitrogen, when combined with hydrogen, yields ammonia a vital compound for lunar agriculture. Enter Starship, the interstellar ferry poised to revolutionize lunar colonization. With its vast cargo capacity, Starship promises to shuttle copious supplies, experiments, and machinery to the moon's surface. What was once a modest lunar outpost could evolve into a bustling hub akin to scenes from a sci-fi blockbuster. But the benefits extend beyond lunar confines. This ambitious endeavor holds the potential to bolster the lunar economy and ripple effects across the globe. Moreover, it serves as a pivotal step toward humanity's ultimate frontier, establishing a base on Mars and venturing forth into the cosmos. That's all for today's episode. 
We really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please share your thoughts with us in the comment box below. We value your input and it helps us create better videos for you. Also, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss another awesome episode. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.